Hi, Enrique here, and in this video I'll be walking step by step through how to calculate a confidence interval in Excel. Now in this example we have a data set of employability scores for recent graduates, and what we want to know is what is the mean employability score that we can expect from our future graduates with a 90% confidence level. Now in this case we'll be assuming that we know the standard deviation of the population, which is 90, so let's go ahead and find the confidence interval. So let's calculate our sample statistics to begin. For the sample size we can use a count. And for the mean we can use the average function. So this value of 289.3 is our point estimate or x bar. Now we need to calculate the margin of error. So to do that let's start with setting a confidence level which has already been stated here, so 90%. Our level of alpha is going to be equal to 1 minus this confidence level. And alpha divided by 2 is, well, alpha divided by 2, which in this case is 0.05 or 5%. Now, for the critical value, remember, we need the z-score at either alpha divided by 2. So let's do that first, norm.s.inv of alpha divided by 2 and that's going to get us the negative value. We could also do the z-score at 1 minus alpha divided by 2, which will get us the same value, just positive. So let's use that one, and this is going to represent a number of standard deviations away from the mean. Now let's calculate the value for a standard deviation, which for a distribution of sample means is the standard error. So to calculate that, let's grab the standard deviation of our population and divide by the square root of our sample size. We get a standard error of 9.23 and to get the margin of error we just multiply the standard deviation of our sample means by the number of standard deviations that will allow our sample mean to deviate from the population mean. Press enter and then to get the limits for our confidence interval we can grab our point estimate, subtract the margin of error, and then grab the point estimate and add the margin of error. And I selected the wrong cell here. There we go. We can now state with 90% confidence that graduates from our program will achieve employability scores between 274 and 304 on average. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Statistics for Data Analysis course at mavenanalytics.io where we have plenty of other courses on Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Python, SQL, and more. Hope to see you again soon.